Walking on the Robin Island. Just on our right hand side, ladies and gentlemen, this is a leper grave of those who are affected by a leprosy. Leprosy was a disease that was incurable and contagious since 1846 to 1931. People who were affected by this disease was collected from mainland to avoid the spread of the disease. The government realized to brought those people here at Robben Island. There was no medication for that disease so that they can die it here. These are the 1,500 graves of people who had afford to have some tombstone. However, under these trees, there are also graves.
the best of luck with all your endeavors for the rest of this year, which is nearly at its end, looking at the dates, of course, but also your future ones. And may your trip back to the mainland be a safe and pleasant one, as well as your ones back to your respective countries, or whatever your destination. And so the chances for us to see one another again are almost uh, zero, realistically speaking. I would therefore also like to make use of this opportunity to wish all of you a Merry Christmas and a prosperous uh, new year. And thank you once more for coming over here today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Please come this way once you finish over there. I'd like all of you to come this way once you are done over there. There is an exit from this side. Sobukwe was once a leadership in politics here in South Africa. Robert Mangels was born 5th December 1924 in small town Rafrenate, situated in Eastern Cape. Robert Mangels Sobukwe, he was of a profession on literature. <coughs> he turned his studies at lower ranks at missionary school. He also went for a tertiary level at Forte University. That is where he had met with so-called Nelson Mandela, Waltasi Sulu, Oliver Tambo, and other political leaders. He felt inspired in politics. He had served as an African National Congress member. He was a national secretary. World War, it was used as a hospital. Later on, it was used as a school. This is the primary school of Robben Island. It was operating, but since last year it was closed. The reason there were very few students who were actually. around Robben Island. The second tour, we will be able to visit the maximum prison cell inside, where we will be welcomed by the ex-political prisoner, who will be a second tour guider, who will actually outline conditions of the maximum prison cell. Are we still okay so far? Yeah. Without wasting any time, just on our left hand side, ladies and gentlemen, the photographer with you. After this pass it move forward, we'll be able to view it better at the back side. These are the first group who had arrived here earlier 1961. From different points. They are the first group. 
it was arrested here from different political organizations. From ANC, African National Congress, and African Congress, and other political organizations. On Robin Island. So that the four the four thirty one this was just for lepers. It wasn't a prison as well, or it was just for lepers? During then it was only facilitate leper people, but also they were a prisoners. As we acknowledge that the a prison at Robben Island dates back sixteen sixty two during the Dutch ruling. Okay, Mr. Mbu.